What's the rest of it in, though? Yeah, so that's what we'll do. So I did get some new abilities on Anya's here. So what are they, anyway? So restore HP to the ally with the lowest HP at the end of the turn. Oh, cool. And it can be used during silence. Transform more consumable item into attack item. Weird. So raise the damage dealt by attack items to 1.5 times normal. Well, I don't really want to put that on because I don't really use attack items anyway. So like, why would I? I can go right at an angle in the town without slowing down, which is weird. But the moment I exit the town, it's like, no, you're going slowly. So I have to zigzag again. All right, let's go back to the upside down pyramid, I guess, or something. Let's go back over that way, is what we'll do. Let's head on back, make a great return. That's what we shall do. Onward and upward. Zigzag. Whee! This is all just filler stuff that I'm saying because I have nothing else to say while we're just zooming around. Zooming is such an exaggeration. What the heck am I saying? Let's head back in there. Whoa, there's ships in the background. I can save at the adventure, I suppose. Save my progress real quick. It's just as you catch your stride, you're most likely to trip. Don't get careless. Okay. Whatever you say, dude. Whatever you say, my man. Into the fort we go. Okay, so we already went to the left and got the self maker class. We can't go that way yet. So this is the way that progresses the main story, right? Surely. Yes, the marker's over there. Cool. Oh, this is the way I should've gone first then, in that case. What the heck is Ice Brand? What is this? Ooh. Does it have like a special ability? It, the name seems to imply that it does. How would I check? Weapon attacks deal water damage. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I must say. There he is. Are you all right? Egil, leader of Mechanis and agent right. of Maineth. You're safe now. It's the other order, but whatever. Here? I think it's other order. So you're Egil, huh? That's right. Who are you? I'm Batman. We've come to help you. Really? I, I was going to see the fire vestal. <laughs> what was that about the fire vestal? <laughs> oh, nothing. Let's talk later. We have to get him to safety first. I didn't say anything. My lips are sealed. You'll have to try harder than that to make me talk. Part chat. Part of chat. Oh my god, to know he's safe. Indeed, and he owes his safety to your bold action, tis. Bold and foolish, I should say. I cannot deny that it was right to save the boy's life. But you have a higher calling, tis. Crystal's awakening hinges in part upon you. Speaking of which, just what do you suppose his connection to the Fire Vestal was? He's asleep. He's out cold. Not that I can blame him after all that. Hey, wake up, kid. You're our one clue here. Hey! Aerie, stop that. At least let him rest until we arrive in Heartschild. But yeah, thank, yeah, thank goodness Batman's here to save you, Eggle. Otherwise, you would have been screwed. But everything's okay now. <laughs> My left headphone's getting, like, weirdly staticky. I mean, these headphones have been dying for a little while. I should probably replace them. They've served me well for a while. I used to keep getting, like, super cheap $20 headphones that would last, like, a few months and then die. And these ones are starting to die. Like, well, these ones I finally decided to get, like, 
non twenty dollar super cheapo headphones. This is a Canadian dollar, by the way, so it's like worth a bit less than American dollar. But I got these forty dollar ones, so that'd be like probably like thirty American, something like that. Think crossing my fingers, like I hope these last a while. Like, they lasted like over a year now, so yay. <laughs> I wish they would have lasted longer though. Oh well, but I use them like almost every day. My last set of headphones I used to use, my last $20 ones, are these ones over here, which I actually use sometimes when I stream. These ones broke by the right one. It doesn't work at all anymore. The right one makes no sound, but so I use it when I stream if I'm doing something through my capture card. Because I'll have one headphone for my computer, one headphone for the capture card. So I use the functional left one in the left ear, and then these ones I use the right one. It sounds like the left one on these is breaking, so maybe, <laughs> maybe that's what will have to happen. Left one on the functional left ones there, and then right one on the functional right ones, or something. Might have to be the plan. I think I should actually just go out and buy new headphones again at some point. This is what I should do. Yeah, they work weirdly on my computer and Switch and stuff like that, and they don't work at all on my phone anymore. It keeps, like, making popping noises when I plug these into my phone, and sometimes it'll just randomly make like a high-pitched buzzing sound that makes me have to rip it out of my ears immediately because it hurts so bad so i can't use it on my phone anymore so the only way to really use headphones on my phone now is my wireless ones which make things super loud because good headphone design and, and they have a battery so it sucks here here it's not like tis to go out on a limb like that but we survived and that's what counts. I thought what counts was having fun. He must be exhausted. He's sound asleep. How's he talking then? Is he sleep talking? You did well to carry him on your back all this way, Tiz. You must be tired too. I'm fine. More importantly, this boy may know of a way into the Temple of Fire. Let's torture him and interrogate him. <laughs> Don't you agree, Anya? I do, if that is true. First, let's head to Commander Goodman's residence and give the boy a chance to rest. Okay. Oh, I have movement again. Okay, then. Wait, do I need a heal? Uh, nope. I do not at the present moment. So you're saying I went all the way back here to the inn for nothing? I didn't even have to come back here and heal. I could have literally gone around the right side and there wasn't even another boss fight reason I came all the way back here because I thought there'd be another boss fight and that I had to heal first do you know this boy no his parents were part of our household guard they lost their lives three years ago protecting my husband we hadn't heard from Eagle since then to think that he had been forced to work in the mithril mine how could Atari do that could we ask you to look after Eagle here for a while we can't take him with us where we're going. Yes, of course. <clears throat> He's awake. No, I'm not. Where am I? I, I, I have to to hurry. I'm late for hurry. a very important where? date. The fire vestal asked me to help. I have to go. I must go. My where planet needs it? me. Wait, what? Oh, I guess we go this way. <laughs> okay. Did you just go this way? How do I? Okay, that's how I get down the stairs. Jeez. Eagle. Thank you for rescuing me, but I have to go back to the Mithra mine. <laughs> yeah, he's gone now. Tried to make his way back to his home planet, but you alas. Don't have to work there anymore. All your friends have been free. Whoa, what was that weird pause? Back. Go back, Hobbit! Go back to the go Shire! Back. Where? To the Shire! Does this have something to do with the Fire Vestal, Echo? No, it has to do with the Shire. That's right. Did you meet her? No. No. <laughs> Wait! Before, <laughs> no. I sometimes see her in my dreams. I said no as a joke. Really she always seems sad and tells me... Go, go to your home planet. <laughs> Lead the wind there. 
the wind. Was that a fart joke? Does it lead somewhere? Yes. Who are you? She is the wind. She is Batman. What? That means this tunnel may lead into the Temple of Fire. Even in death, it seems the fire vessel is trying to fulfill her duty through Eggle's dreams. I must see this death. Or, you know, I must. drugs. Eggle, That's why you don't do marijuana, kids. Got it. Leave it to me. Little Eggle's having Wait. weird dreams where people Eggle, are talking to him. Hey! 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 Why do you object, Tiz? Objection. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to mix those vessels at all. My oh my. Tiz, how is Eagle? He's asleep. He has three hours. Idea is with him now. Anya and Eri are in a hub. We couldn't let Eagle take them into the mine. It's too dangerous. <laughs> For me. You know, ever since we found Eggle, you've stopped having your nightmares, Tiz. Huh? Really? Of course he has. They haven't slept once since I found him. What the heck are you talking about, Ring a Bell? Can't have nightmares if he's awake. Like, that right now is literally the first time they've slept. You're capable hands. <laughs> Understood. Interesting thing to miss here. Where is Ego now? Ego. Oh my goodness, now I'm gonna hear. He won't let anyone in. We can't take him with us. Even so. No matter. I've questioned him thoroughly about the location. <laughs> I've questioned him. The torturing's done. <laughs> Let's set out then. No need for this anymore. Like throws a baseball bat to the side or something. <laughs> my oh my. Running, 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 running. I could have saved the adventure, but who cares? Once I'll exit here, it'll auto save anyway. Where am I going? Ah, oh, we're going to the fire temple. Temple of fire. Intermissing. But yeah, so if you played through this, what do you think of the game? Do you go by Dr. Terror for short? Question mark. What are your thoughts on it? Oh, it's a cutscene now. <laughs> Luigi. Hmm? Ego? Uh, what are you doing here? Wait, it's a... <sighs> uh, let's just, you know do this because you know Dr. Terror or Terror gotcha gotcha yeah I know a lot of people don't go by the full name or just go by part of it like me with Harmonia but everyone just says acoustic the first thing alrighty oh I can't even see their health alright let's super fast forward it is what we'll do how much damage does Anya even do? Guess I guess I probably won't find out. Oh no! Wow! Wow! So rude! What a rude dude! We specifically told you not to follow us. <laughs> Are you listening to me, Ego? But I'm the only one. Who Don't let that play on my stream. I specifically what? told you not to follow us. No, do follow them. No, just kidding. <laughs> you have to squeeze into a really tight hole to open up the way through. You'd never be able to fit. Not in a million years. Take that, stupid grown up. You said nothing about this back at the house. You tricked us. I didn't trick you. I just left that part out. It's the same thing. Anyway, I'm small enough to fit through a silly little hole. But you're too tiny to move the stone lever that opens the passage up. What stone lever? You didn't say anything about that. What a rude kid. Nope, I didn't. How could he be this well, rude to Batman? We'll have to take Eggo with us now. That's the only <laughs> way to the crystal. 
He's the only one who's strong enough to pull the lever. What if he gets hurt? <laughs> no need to yell at Anya, Tiz. What are you so upset about? Yeah. I. Everyone what killed you Tiz. Then, Tiz. Will you make him go back by himself? I wouldn't do that. We'll go back with him. What if the sword bearers or black blades beat us to the temple? <gasps> oh no! Enemy, right? He was held prisoner by them before as well. They may already be aware of this passage you found. But <laughs> Adia just doesn't care at all. We should focus on the task of awakening <laughs> the crystal. Exactly. To cleanse the darkness from this world, we must accept some risk and some sacrifices. I was just about to make a joke about how some yeah. sacrifices must be what made. But <laughs> they already I made it for me. Be sacrificed. I won't allow it. I won't allow it. You have been impossible lately, Tiz. You are trampling upon the will of Egil, the late fire vessel, and me. As a vessel, I cannot let you do this. And the entire community. Fear with my mission. H hey, both of you need to calm <laughs> down. probably what a deal would say. He reminds me of my little brother who died. Till. What? When that chasm opened up, and Norende was swallowed by darkness, my little brother, about the same age as Ego, he fell along with it, right before my eyes. Too bad Batman was I there. Couldn't save him. I couldn't hold on to Till's hand any longer. Weakling. The look on his face as he stared back at me and fell into that black pit hasn't left my mind ever since. The same goes for the water vestal. It was agony, watching her life fade in front of me. I couldn't bear to watch Anya's cling to her and weep. I've seen enough death to last a lifetime. That's why I don't want to lead Ego into peril, even if it is to deliver the world from danger. Hmm. Then... Why don't you try to stop Agnes from facing danger, Tiz? Because I know that no matter what, Agnes would just go off on her own. And I promised Agnes that I'd stay at her side. To be there. To protect her. Tiz? Well, there's your answer. Huh? What do you mean? We'll go together with The answer him. is C. Tiz will protect him. Always answer we C. All will. Right? <sighs> Please let me go. I want to see the fire vessel's wishes carried out. You win. But you're not to go wandering off without us, okay, Eagle? Got it. Thanks. Uh, uh. Huh? What? Never mind. Unacceptable. It's nothing. Let's move on. Anyway, sorry about how long that took, but really enjoyed the game overall, though you can't recommend it due to the molasses of the middle the game to get to the true ending. Yeah, I understand that. I assume when you say that, you mean like halfway through the game when it comes to the chapters until like the end for that ending. Yeah, it's... It's not fun at all. I mean, like, some people have said that it's pretty enjoyable for them because they've gone around the world doing all of the side quests that appear on the map after that midway, but they just didn't interest me because at that point, like, there's no more side quests for any more asterisks. So it's like, why would I do the side quest? Like, am I going to get little bits of other character stories that I don't care about? Like, I didn't do any of them. So I just rushed through the rest of the game, and it's just so, so tedious. I do not like that part of it at all like that is not a good game design there honestly but i probably won't even do any of those side quests as i'm streaming this honestly <laughs> i probably won't but but yeah at the end of the day i do like this game but i'm i have mixed feelings about it in some ways because of that which is why I hesitated for so long to get Bravely Second, until eventually I was convinced and I was like, oh, fine, I'll try it. And I tried it, and that's one of my favorite games of all time now, so I'm like iffy about Bravely Default, 
but I love Bravely Second, and Bravely Second is more enjoyable if you play Bravely the Default first, so we're doing that on stream, and then one day in the future we'll probably do Bravely Second. At that point, it's just, oh, I get to battle the same character to start. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, all those side quests are just, like, rematches against people that you fought before. It's like... How does this benefit me? Like... Like, how you make a game engaging is by stimulating, like, the idea of progress that you're, like, progressing towards something. Like, but doing those side quests just feels so pointless. It's like, ugh. Anyway, uh... Eagle, I'm... Hey, Eagle, I'm talking to you. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Quit nagging me already. Nag, after this, you lied... Wait, after you lied to me, you pipsqueak? What if I just gave Eggle a voice like, I'm telling you, I never lied. You didn't ask, so I didn't mention it. That's all. Oh, I don't need to take that kind of backtalk from you. And I'm a lot bigger than you. You're the real pipsqueak. <laughs> what was that? Nothing. I didn't say a word. Honestly, what kind of attitude is that? And to a Christ fairy, no less. Hanyas, are you hearing this? Eggle is being horrid. Hanyas, please. Harry, he's a child. Please do not be so immature. Right, right. Ha, you heard her, Harry. <laughs> oh, you little. It's a ring about tis. Somebody say something. Uh, yeah. Hang in there, I guess? Well then. And admittedly, the first time you face them all again, like, okay, I'm intrigued, but the second time, well, this is getting old, third time, you should probably quit this game. Yeah. I know this place like the back of my... <gasps> Whoa! Like, I guess that's, like, what? part, a little bit of spoilers, but, like, <laughs> who cares about that? <laughs> There's rematches against characters, it's not, like, that much of a spoiler. Who cares? Okay? Yeah, I don't like facing them again at all. Like, if the second half of the game could just not exist, I would like this game so much better. Then you won't have to worry about finding Mithril anymore. Wow! Now that I look at it more closely, I think this is Orikalkum. Amazing! Wow! Now that I look at it more closely, I think this is. It's my lucky day! Dang, I could come up with a joke in time. Oh. That sucks. <laughs> but yeah, the rematches. I... <sighs> Let's just make the whole second half of the game rematches. <sighs> Man. I'm glad Bravely Second wasn't like that. Bravely Second, an actual really, really good game. Oh, whoa. Hmm? Are you alright? Yeah, sorry. Just stumbled a bit. My eyes haven't really adjusted. All the more reason to be careful where you step. You know, when you think about it, the moon's way better than the sun. <laughs> well, without the sun, we'd all be dead. What makes you say that? <laughs> because without the sun, we'd all be dead, and life is suffering. The moon shines when it's dark out, so we can see at night. The sun only shines during the day when it's bright anyway. In <laughs> perfect sense. <laughs> it's bright during the day because of the sun, silly. Did you know that the moon only shines because of the sun's light? Whoa, really? Huh? The moon only shines because of the sun. I guess that makes sense. It must be really grateful. Grateful? How so? Because whenever the sun is tired, the moon fills in for it while it rests. <laughs> Alright, yeah, it'd be a lot better if it doesn't make you do it multiple times. Yeah. Like, once? Okay. Like, if it was once or t maybe twice maximum. But how many is it total? Like, four or something? Like... Uh... Whole second half of this game is suffering. You know, I grind this game in between rounds of playing multiplayer things like Dead by Daylight. It's pretty much just Dead by Daylight that I do that with. Maybe, like, between each one of those chapters where it's that kind of thing, I should just, like stop playing the game for a while and just be grinding during DPD because I don't want to do the side quest to get experience. I just want to push through the game, you know? <laughs> Hard at work, I see. You know it. You know it, man. Alright, we've saved. 
and we're ready. This is the place. There's a stone lever at the back of this narrow hole. Just a second. He wasn't kidding. Only Eggle or Eri could fit down there. And he was never seen again. Okay, here I go. <laughs> Put a rock in front of it so he can't get out. I don't know if I'm ready for this boss. Guess we'll find out. Let's actually just save again so that I don't have to see like that cutscene again. You know, we might not be ready for this boss right now, but we're gonna try. We'll try our- oh, there's more. Isn't that fun? Underflow. Underflow! This cave is the same as the one from my dreams. The fire Vestal told me the way to go. <laughs> he like pulls out a marijuana leaf. Thanks, Fire Vestal! As he like stares at it and his eyes are like all red. <laughs> I only know because the Fire Vestal told me. It's nothing special. I bet you're glad you brought me though, right? Yes, yes. Let's get going. You know, I was joking before about Ego being the only one being strong enough to pull a lever, but I wasn't paying attention when he said that, like, the lever was through with a thing that only he or Aerie could crawl through, because I just wasn't paying attention then, I guess. Whoa, why does it shake when I- Ooh, weird. Whoa, do I have to, like, wait? Is that, okay. Pretty sure I have, like, dungeon hazard immunity on, so I don't think it matters. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't even matter, right? I'm not getting anything. Oh, never mind. Never mind then. My mistake. Oh man, what a world we live in. This way, onward. Hot foot through the volcano, it's fine. <laughs> no problem at all. Yeah, it looks like I'm not taking more damage, so that's good. Yeah, I thought. Oh, I had like hazard immunity on. <gasps> no! No! Get back up there. I really wish that stairs weren't the way that they were. Where you could accidentally go down them again like that. Because of just the way that they're facing, I guess. Uh. What's over this way? What have we got? Hey, get off there. Ah, chest better be good. Safety ring, what the heck is that? A ring of safety. That nullifies death. <laughs> I know that that's like a thing that certain enemies can just inflict on you and that's like the name of it. But it's just so funny to read out. It's a magical ring that nullifies death. <laughs> Uh, oh dang it. Stepped on the thing. Oh, that's funny. Oh. Oh boy. Well, what's the point of coming this way? What, really? That's not even- oh, okay. <laughs> okay. A magical ring that nullifies death. My oh my. How does one make such a ring, anyway? How exactly does it nullify to- oh, okay, we're just running over those, I guess. Oh, I didn't turn my camera back on before, I hit the hockey to- I hit the hockey to turn it off and it turned on, oops. It's hot down here. Let's take a little break then. That okay with you, Agnes? Oh, okay. At least it wasn't my microphone that I left off or something like that. What will you do when the war ends? Hmm... I don't know. Isn't there anything you're passionate about? I'd like to go to military academy. Then I want to be a guardsman for the shield bearers. My mother and father died noble deaths protecting the top shield bearers. The soldiers <laughs> so I will do. <laughs> served to protect the fire vestal. I want to shield people, like my mother and father did. Is that so? 
But I guess I need to find a place to live before that. I have no home to go back to now. <laughs> wink, wink. After Adopt me. After my mother me. and father died, my grandfather took me in. He was really kind. But he got sick and died soon after. I had nowhere to go. And then I ran into some sword bearers who were rounding up orphans. They took me to the mithril mine. I see. You've done well to survive on your own. <laughs> I guess I have. My oh my, and a magical ring that nullifies death that must be like an item they ask for input on from a third grade classroom. What, like something that they kind of make as like an idea thing? Like a third grade being like, this is my magical ring that nullifies death. Is <laughs> that what you mean? Sounds like it. Ow. Oh. I thought that was like the lava there or whatever, the hot ground doing like big damage to me, which is why I said ow, but apparently not. Whoa. Is there anything over here? Whoa. Oh, there is a path here. So, yeah, there is something over here. I guess I could pay attention to the bottom map there to see where I can go. Probably a good idea. Yeah. Are you thirsty, Egil? We should rest a bit. Yeah. Yeah, we've been walking a whole Sorry. one minute since the last cutscene. I have to keep my promise Not to even, probably. Crystal. I don't want to run out of steam before then. You hold the fire vessel dear, don't you, Egil? Your faith in crystallism is strong for such a young boy. Well... My mother and father were fine. I was gonna make a joke, but I don't think I should. I'm not sure what I believe in yet. The teachings of crystallism are a bit over my head. I don't really know what to make of them. Then why do you brave such perils? Because I made the fire vestal a promise. That's all. She always looked so sad in my dreams. <laughs> I just want to see her smile for a change. <sighs> I that time I left my microphone muted. <laughs> I mean, I removed the camera during cutscenes. If I accidentally kept it off for a while during like the regular game, then oops. But during cutscenes, I leave it off because I'm usually not saying that much during the cutscenes. Like I'll put in a comment here or there, but for the most part, it's just listening to the cutscenes, and I feel like it's just dumb having my face be on the screen just staring at the game ahead like that just I don't like it like now it's like I'm actively taking part in it so now camera on but if it's just like watching cutscenes it's just like a video of me watching it as well it's like let's not I guess But yeah, if it was off during like the regular gameplay, then oops. But <laughs> but yeah, for cutscenes, I turn it off though. There are some games where I've had it off for like almost the entire playthrough, like Octopath Traveler, where like either I don't know where to put it on the screen, or the entire game is just like so beautiful where it's like I don't want to block any of this. It's not like I have to worry about that for the 3DS though. So I mean. I think Octopath Traveler might have been like the biggest game that we've done so far where the whole thing was with the camera off. Oh my goodness, so rude. I don't know if there's any other full playthroughs that I've done where the camera was off the whole time. But Octopath Traveler definitely was. Because that game was too beautiful. There was like nowhere to put the camera anyway. Unless I made it like really small or something. And that game was too pretty. It needed to be admired. <laughs> It's too beautiful looking up again. Oh my goodness. What a rude area, huh? How completely rude. <laughs> nice casual walk, Tiz. Nice, dude. I hate it how slow he goes when he goes like down and right at an angle. Or up and right at an angle. It is annoying. I must say. Hey look, story stuff. Yay! I've seen this place before. 
We're almost at the Temple of Fire. I wonder if that crevice leads into the temple. It's like Magma Cavern or whatever it was called from PMD1, it reminds me of. Watch your step. If you die here, Anya, the world's last hope will perish with you. I know. T thanks for the reminder. It's shaking again. Yeah, that's what happens when you're playing Wario where shake it. Goodbye. Hardcore parkour. I'll toss Eagle over to you. Get him out of here. I'm not going to let go. But we could both end up falling. <laughs> Good. Uh, you're not exactly out of there yet. I don't know what you're talking about. Is that still collapsing? Why are they? Oh. I cannot believe you would do such a crazy thing. You can thank your lucky stars you survived. One wrong step, and you all would have been toast. That goes double for you, Anyas. Have you forgotten you are a crystal vessel? Have you forgotten you're Batman? Hey, are you even listening to me? Are you all right, Eagle? Yeah. Thanks for saving me. <laughs> you really gave us a scare. I could say the same of you. Huh? We all said we'd help Eagle, and yet you left in alone. <laughs> Here. It's just your face is covered in mud, Agnes. What? And where exactly did you think you were going, Agnes? <laughs> that was a shock. You picked a bad time to show you have no sense of direction. <laughs> <laughs> the way Agnes caught both of you with those spindly arms of hers is a story I'll pass down to my grandchildren. I didn't know you had it in you, Agnes. I've got eyes like a hawk, yet you kept it hidden all this time. It was just the adrenaline. I surprised even myself. So you acted without thinking whether you could pull it off? Uh, yes. So Batman does. I'm just glad we're all safe and sound. Uh, Tiz and Adia and Ringabel. I'm so sorry for saying such terrible things. Well, will you still stay at my side? Pfft, I'm out of here. Oh, not you, Ego. <laughs> he took my line. <laughs> Shut up, Aerie. It's like everyone's having fun, and then Aerie's just like the strict mom, like, no fun. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. 
he was certainly put on the extra pressure. Imagine if one of the characters like on yes sir. Ari had just like yelled that out like just feel free to you know Lego that ego right there <laughs> But yeah, and also with that pillar I was under the impression that these pillars were sinking <laughs> I thought they were all falling like into the lava <laughs> Yeah Wait Oh, what? Okay, that's one way back. I got it. Where, where does this go? Wait Huh. It, this way wasn't here the whole- Oh, there was a boulder there at the beginning. I was about to say, this way wasn't here the whole time, was there? Was it? Was there? What the heck am I saying? Um, on we go, I guess. Ah. Temple of Fire. I do like the theme that plays right here during like dungeons and temples and stuff. Oh, it's not even a cutscene. What am I doing? All right, have we got anything in this temple? There's a chest. The heck is this? What is this? Ooh. Weapon attacks you with fire damage. Okay. Yeah, I'll stabby stabby with that now. I wonder if it would bolster. Like fire imbued attacks. Like if I imbue my sword with fire, does it do like extra? Does it not make a difference? Scriptures. They've been shredded to pieces. <gasps> it was no accident these were destroyed. The ones who attacked the temple. Why is there a temple like here anyway? Like what the people who are living here, how did they get like food and stuff? Like it's not like it's impossible, like but how inconvenient to get here. Uh, there's no way I'd be able to do this. No. I accidentally hit. I do last time. So, uh, let's not do that. Because usually the bottom option in video games is a thing that's no. So, I kind of died to that already. Ice Flame Shield, what the heck is that? Who do I want to shield the most? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'll happily take it. I mean, it seems great. Inspect. Do, 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 do. Inspect a gadget. Unlike the Temple of Wind or Water, this travesty was at the hands of man. So, this is where the Fire Vestal met her end. Yeah, let's just build like one of the most important temples to like maintaining the world with this crystal in the middle of a volcano. Not even, not even like near the surface of it, like just under like one layer of it. But how about we make it like five floors deep, like really far into the volcano. So that's like near impossible for like anybody to get there. Like how hard it was for these characters to get here. <gasps> Having to do that to deliver food and everything. No, that's Egil. They look a lot like your garments, on yes. These are her clothes! The Fire Vestal was wearing these when she came to me in my dream! Strange that only her ceremonial garb would escape destruction. She'll never get to wear them again. Huh. Party chat! Party chat! A place where time lies still. Light speed. So this is where the fire vestal. It's just like my dream. All of it. It feels like time stopped here in the temple. Yeah? Perhaps because time has stopped for the spirit of the fire vestal. Anyas. It's cut. I can't. <laughs> this voice that I'm doing for him though. Uh, I uh, it's kind of hard to breathe. Okay, I'll do like that last line normally, I guess then. Anything else over here? Nope. Okay then. Let's see here real quick. Oh yeah, I forgot to turn my camera on. I forget this sometimes. Mm, magic. Do 
Do I want to play it safe and restore that, though? I guess I could. Whatever. We've kind of got a whole bunch of peeg now. Anyway, I was about to say gold. Okay. Yeah, I know it only gets worse from here on in Adventure. I know it does. I... <laughs> It just now occurred to me, like, the adventure here saying, like, it only gets worse from here on in is basically akin to, like, Undertale, the word determination, at, like, every save point. It's, like, the same idea. All 